Hello, beautiful people. This month, I thought I would do a hip opening challenge just because I find we're relatively stiff in the hip area in the Western world. So there's a lot of stretches and this video is a bit long, so bear with. One of the stretches is to bring a rope around your foot and try bringing the foot towards you. With the other hand, you can either bring your arm back behind the foot and this will bring the, the distance between the foot and the belly a little bit closer. Or you could even put your hand, push your hand against the knee and massage the knee, which will open the hip a little bit more. I suggest to you, please, not to push down on the knee too much, as it might hurt the knee joint. And this has given me a fair bit of arthritis over the past couple of years. So please be careful. Know your limits when hip opening. Please don't forget to do bilateral exercises on both sides. For this next exercise, I want you to take your thumbs and open up your, uh, your feet like a book. This will open up the hips and groins about an inch to two inches more than if you wouldn't have your hands and fingers on your feet. Then one version is to round the back and kind of fold forward. And there's another version where you can keep your back straight and push your forearms up against the legs. If you don't want to push the forearms up against the legs, you can leave the elbows outside the legs, but I assure you that by pushing the forearms, you get a little bit of a deeper stretch. You can do the same version with your foot on a block. It's gonna open up the hips a little bit more. If you're not sure about the block, you can buy one at Walmart or Costco or any yoga store such as Lululemon. You could push one hand on the inside of the knee, just again, a reminder, always watch the knee in these particular poses. Open up the hips a little bit more. Try and hold each pose between 30 seconds to three to five minutes. Another exercise is you take the block and you put it between the feet. You can do it vertically or horizontally. This will target a different area of your hip and groin. Again, hold each pose between 30, 45 seconds, a couple of minutes if you have. My objective this month is to, for everyone to do between 10 and 30 minutes of hip opening a day and see if your hips open up accordingly. Another stretch I like is the sort of open-legged seiza. I don't really know the name of the pose exactly, but it's almost like the Japanese sitting on their ankles, except you're in this uh, wide knee bent split pose. If you want a deeper stretch, I want you to bring your pelvis forward like I'm doing in this variation. It's going to open up the groins a little bit more. The stretch on the hip won't be as evident, but the groins will stretch quite a fair bit. Another hip opener, which is very hard, so take your time, is a split pose. I wasn't very warmed up here, so I couldn't do a full split. Normally, I go a little bit lower, although my split is not generally perfect anyways. From here, what you could do, if you like, is you could drop down, do some pancakes, Stay in pancake three, uh, 30, 40, five seconds, whatever you like. Sometimes I hold it a couple of minutes. Just in pancake, be careful not to hurt your lower back. Another thing you could do is come back to Asian squat pose and then practice low stances while pushing on the inside of the leg to open up the hips and groins a little bit further. Have fun with this stuff. There's nothing static about it. Just remember, we're here to move and enjoy your body in a positive way. Another stretch you could do is happy baby pose. One woman in my class joked about how it was happy woman's pose, but that's a story for another time. This you can do in bed while after uh, waking up or before going to bed. Another cool passive hip opener is to put one of the foot on the opposite groin and hug behind the leg. This will open up your hip in a very easy and passive way. If you want, here is a, another version of this facing, uh, looking at it from a horizontal perspective that you can do in your bed or lying down on the floor like I mentioned. This is sort of a, a passive dragon lunge. So if you're doing an actual dragon lunge or have to use your body weight a little bit more, here you can do it lying down. Here's another perspective of the pose. You can grab the side of the foot, open up the hip. Please again, I can't emphasize enough, be careful with your knee. Here are real dragon lunges. You bring the foot on the outside of the hand and you push your forearm or uh, tricep or hand on the inside of the leg. You have fun with it. You could even come down on the forearms. This will open up the leg a little bit more. Here's another perspective of it again. So like again, you could massage or push on the inside of the leg or you could push your forearms down. You could do similar things like this, like pigeon uh, on a table or on the floor. This is the table variation. I only showed uh, the right leg, but you get the idea. Do them on both sides always. Symmetry is key. 
Another version of this is you can do it standing up where you just grab the foot. This will challenge and work your balance a little bit more. But again, the more angles and perspectives that you work your exercises in, the more you'll be on the road to mastery. The next one is to bring your foot on the quad. And again, you could bring the hand behind your back and this will open up the shoulder or you can grab the foot with the same hand. A pose I really like to open up the hips is pigeon pose. We'll do a couple of more advanced variations of this pose. One version you can do is you fold forward and this will open up the hips and groins a little bit more. Try and keep your back as straight as possible. Don't curve too, too much. Another variation is you can grab the side of the foot with the same side hand and you could extend the opposite arm up. This uh, next variation comes from a teacher I like, Jamie Lee, where you glide the forearm and triceps on the inside of the same foot and you bring the arm up. Again, here's another perspective of it, just so that you see both sides. You bend forward. Don't forget to breathe. Breathing is very important in stretching. It'll actually help you get into stretches uh, a little bit deeper and with a little bit more integrity. Again, you can grab the side of the foot with the same side hand and extend the opposite arm up. All other muscles are also uh, engaged, maybe not at 100%. Bring the side of the arm on the inside of the foot while extending the opposite hand. And again, have fun with this stuff and breathe. Other stretches you can do is you can do full lotus, which is actually my objective in doing these poses. And then while in full lotus, you could have a little bit of fun. You could jump forward, you could jump back. Remember, movement is about uh, amusing ourselves and having fun with our body as long as you're safe about it. Then you could come into a, a lotus handstand if you like. This is a cool little trick. Sorry, my alignment in handstand isn't so great. And that's pretty much it. I hope this uh, video is very hope helpful for you and I hope you have fun hip opening this month.